In this lesson, we're going to take a look at one of the coolest new features in ProShow Producer 6, text layers. So what can you do with text layers that you can't do with captions? The best way to answer that is to check out some examples of the kinds of effects you can make using text layers. In this first example, we can see text layers using options that were previously only available for image and video layers, like tilt and blur. Creating a mask with text is now extremely easy. Simply type your text into ProShow, then turn on the masking option. As you know, captions will always appear above your visual content, but that's not the case with text layers. Here we see how text layers and content layers can be mixed to make some really amazing effects. Now that we've seen what text layers can do, let's add some to a slide. In slide options, there are two ways to make a text layer. The first option is to take an existing caption and turn it into a text layer. Just select the caption in the captions list, then right click and choose convert to layer. This will convert your caption and move it down to the layers list. Any caption settings or effects you may have added earlier will also be copied and applied to the new text layer. One of the really cool things about text layers is that they're basically hybrid layers. That means you can use the creative tools for both captions and layers when making new effects. To make the tilt and blur effect we saw earlier, we'll need a few keyframes. So let's click on the effects tab above the preview. With keyframe one selected, first I'll adjust the vertical and horizontal tilt values. This gives my text layer a very different look, and it's something you can't do with a caption. Now in the Adjustments pane, I'll set the blur to around 40. Now back in the preview, I'll drag this layer off to the left and all the way off the screen. I'll move keyframe 2 to around the middle of the timeline. Then click the Reset icon for both the Motion and Adjustment panes. This will make sure the text layer appears right in the middle of the screen and completely in focus. Now I'll right click on the keyframe timeline and add a new keyframe. For this keyframe, I'll adjust the pan value just a little. Now I'll right click to add one more keyframe, then drag it all the way to the end. In the motion pane, I'll change my tilt values again. Then in the Adjustments pane, I'll add some blur. Finally, back in the preview, I'll drag the layer off the screen all the way to the right. When I preview the slide, the text layer will appear tilted and blurry, come into focus in the middle of the screen, then tilt and blur again as it pans off the screen. The final effect uses additional layers, but all we have to do is repeat these steps. The tools and techniques are the same. Next, let's take a look at how we can use text layers as masks in our shows. In previous versions of ProShow, to make an effect like this, we would have needed an external image editor to create a JPEG or ping image of the text. In ProShow 6, all I have to do is add a new text layer. This time, instead of converting an existing caption, I'll click the Add button in the Layers list and select Add Text Layer. For now, I'll just type in the word mask. Now I'll go to the text settings tab. Here you'll find almost all the same options used to create captions. For this example, I'll choose a font with very broad characters and use a pretty good font size. To turn this text layer into a mask, I'll go to the layer settings tab, then turn on the mask option. Just like an image layer, I can also apply motion to a text layer. So let's go to the Effects tab and have this mask move across the screen as the slide plays. Now this looks okay, but it could use a little fixing up. So let's take advantage of one of the best features of text layers, the ability to change the text. 
Now, even though we've already turned this into a mask and we've already applied motion, I can still change the text without having to recreate the effect. With the text layer selected, I'll click the text settings tab and then type in a new word. As a finishing touch, I'll adjust the font and size. Finally, let's look at one more item that separates captions and text layers. Unlike captions, text layers appear in the layers list, and just like an image or video layer, you can position your text layers above or below any other layers on your slide. Simply click and drag, or use the up and down buttons to change the layer order. You can create some really amazing effects with text layers, but keep in mind, they're not meant to replace captions. For some shows, captions are still the best choice. While they are very similar, one option isn't better than the other. They're just two different ways to share information when making slideshows in ProShow. That's it for this lesson, but there are many more new features to discover in ProShow 6. Be sure to visit our blog and check out our YouTube channel for even more helpful tips.